recruiting process and what attracted you to FSU? Yeah, for sure. Um, my recruiting process was a little different. It was a little shorter than others, but um, I had these other like smaller schools talking to me, and then Florida State picked up the phone and started talking to them a lot, started taking a couple visits here, being here on the weekends and stuff like that. That's what really made me come here, like the environment here. I really enjoyed being here on the weekends and like felt like a second home to me. So that's why Florida State was a place for me. Brendan? Yeah, you had mentioned that Florida State had a recruiting for a bit. You've always been on campus multiple times. But when they officially offered you and you as a chance to come here, can you walk us through that, that moment, how it was presented to you, and I guess what's going through your mind then? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, when I first took a couple of visits here, I knew it felt like home. So, I mean, it was definitely a place I wanted to be. So when the offer came, it didn't take me very long to commit because I knew Florida State was where I wanted to end up at. So. Essen? Coach Atkins is someone that's always like, you know, blunt. He's going to tell you what you need to work on, what you need to get better at. How is that, what's that been like working with him so far? And what's your relationship like with Coach Atkins? I feel like we have a good relationship, and it's definitely going to develop into an even better relationship. But that was another reason that Florida State was a great place to come because I like to be coached like that. And he's going to tell you how it is. And that, I feel like that's a great way for a player to get better whenever a coach is straight up and tells you what you need to work on. That's why I enjoyed um, coming to play for Coach Atkins. Jordan, do you have a question? Yeah. yeah. Adrian, can you talk about your relationship with some of the other early enrollees and who you're closest with out of the freshman class? Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, my roommate, Ty Hill, he's probably the closest one. Probably one of my, the closest freshmen. <clears throat> Outside of that, though, I mean, me and BJ are real close. They're both coming from Georgia and Landon, Landon Thomas, of course, all um, came from Georgia. So we're all close. And then Luke and Cam Davis, I mean, we all just enjoy hanging out, having a good time, you know, playing the game, different things like that. A lot of recruits, you know, make the comments that Coach Atkins will tell them what they're not good at during the recruiting process. Was that your experience? And, and what were some of the things? Uh, why did that appeal to you um, as a coach? No doubt, it's definitely a different approach from um, any of the other recruiters. But that that it definitely made him stand out, made Florida State stand out. I enjoyed that because he'll also tell you like things that he that he liked in like your performance. <clears throat> Uh, offensive line's obviously not a position a lot of guys play as freshmen. Um, but, so what was the, you know, the reason, why did you guys want to get in for the first semester early enrollee and kind of get a head start on it? Well, I mean, definitely, it, it definitely gave me a head start and an advantage to, you know, getting here, learn the plays, learn the offense, things like that. Get under the wing of some of these um, older guys, you know, and really just take what they have to offer. Go back to Brendan. Have they talked to you about whether it's going to be a guard, a tackle, I guess, where you start off kind of training in your career? Well, right now I've been starting to work at guard, even though I play, I play tackle in high school. But right now I'm starting to learn the plays as a guard right now. So probably I'll start off as guard. Awesome. Who's been an older offensive line that you kind of started talking to and trying to learn from that's just been here for a while and trying to learn from over here? Um, like Marie Smith was a big guy. I mean, Keandre Jones is going to help me out learning that guard position and things like that. And then Rob Scott was always a guy I was looking up to. Aslan in the back. James, you talked about those early offers from you know smaller schools. I'm sure you had like a lot of confidence in yourself and where you could be at. What was kind of you know what did you have to tell yourself to, to remain confident? And what was that feeling like when a school like Florida State finally came knocking? Well, it was definitely just pursuit and like definitely like. I just told myself that I have to keep pursuing and keep pushing and going to these different schools and going to these different camps and things like that. And then I, I did that. And um, when I came to Florida State, I just kept coming back. Well, I read in your bio that you only played a couple of seasons of high school football. And I apologize for not knowing your whole story, but uh, why was that? And, and, and how, how far have you come in that time? Oh, well, I've definitely came a long ways. I mean, I think I, I played 10 games in my junior year, and five or six months uh, senior year after getting hurt, but um, I played my freshman year, had an injury, didn't finish out that year, didn't play my sophomore year, and then I was like, I'll give it one more chance my um, junior year, and you know, I kind of just really fell in love with the sport then. Go back to Jordan. Jordan, can you talk about your physical goals and what sort of duty has been like for you? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I want to get my weight down a little bit, for sure, so I can move a little bit better. And um, tour duty is definitely one of the um, more challenging things I've ever done, but I enjoy it. Enjoy working, getting to know some of these guys, seeing how they work. You know, he's gonna push you. Like everyone needs to be pushed like that. That's it. 
you mentioned injury. What was your injury in your freshman year, if you don't mind sharing? And then um, what made you fall in love with football again in your junior year? Like, what, what, what about it? Yeah. Um, my freshman year, I fractured my tibia, my right leg. So that put me out for the season. And then my junior year, coming back to the sport, like, I really fell in love with like, the physical aspect of things and, like, just the team bond that, that we had. And, like, that's what made me stay at it, to be honest. Go back to Ira. Um, what was your baseball career like? What position did you play, and, and uh, how long did you play baseball? Uh, most definitely, I've played baseball my entire life from when I was could pick up a bat or a ball. So I mean, it's, it was definitely um, <clears throat> it definitely won't be easy leaving that sport. So I mean, but I I, I played travel ball things like that my whole life. So always was always always played baseball my entire life. So first base, I played first yes, sir. That's <laughs> one. Yeah. With the limited games that you were able to play, Jay, you talked about coming to camps. I mean, how much pressure did you kind of put on yourself when those camps came around to perform at your best? And what did you learn about yourself, I guess, going up against other prospects that give you a level of confidence? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Um, I felt as though I didn't have much film provided, so I, I, I definitely felt as I had to provide, like, do really good at these camps and things like that. So it was definitely a little bit of pressure, but um, once you get here and, you know, you start working, you know, the pressure leaves relieves off of you and you know you can just really go out there and work and be yourself but I feel like I matched up pretty good you know. As well. Was there anybody you went up against that was like a big name that, that gave you confidence that you helped your own again? Um there were some people at the uh, I think it was the Seminole Showcase camp. Um but I don't remember any specific names now. Matt Man, I think it's the first time I haven't seen you wearing a Braves jersey. Um what kind of just in general are you most excited for being here? I'm excited to get to work, to be honest. Like I'm excited to get under these guys' wings and you know learn from these older guys and their experience and you know just go to work. Anything else for Jaden? All right. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.